Good morning from Grumpy Goat Farm. And I'm going to do a little tutorial about the fiber for my animals when making art yarn. This is a bat that has alpaca, which is the dark brown, and gora, which is the white and the gray that I have over dyed in some different um, light oranges, pastel colors. It has baby doll, sheep, has a little bit of fin sheep in it, but this is a bath that I put on my carter, and it looks like this in its raw form. I tear it off, and then I spin it into yarn. I did three sections. This is the first section. This is when I have spun it and plied it with a fin and merino hand dyed and it is just a simple plain yarn nothing in it it's beautiful though then I took the second batch and I did a single ply this is slightly overspun because I do have angora and angora is slippy slippery it does slip out and so as I knit with it or crochet I haven't decided maybe even weave sometimes it still does um, undoes some of the twist these have some antique buttons in them. I have not set the twist yet. I just took this off of the spinning wheel. Let's see if I can get it this way. And I have some thin parts and some thick parts with this beautiful buttons in them. The third part will be this that I'm going to spin and haven't decided how I'm going to spin it. Art yarn is expensive because it's time consuming. When I spin a batch of um, fiber and it takes me an hour to get a certain amount, of yardage if I spun art yarn where I'm putting stuff like buttons in there or locks or anything it doubles my time and that's why when people see art yarn they're really shocked at the price it's double and sometimes triple because of the price because of the amount of time it takes to make I'll have many many hours in the carding in the in the spinning and well in the, also in the dyeing for these art yarns. And I'm going to probably put this on my loom and make something really beautiful out of it. I just wanted you to be able to see a basic, simple art yarn and the bat that it came from.